to welcome once again to Iowa my good friend uh, Marco Rubio. It's a pleasure to be here with him today in Des Moines. Um, this is actually a very exciting week for conservatives across the state of Iowa, don't you think? We've got a lot of attention out there, and, and I am very glad to see so many of you that are involved in this process. Uh, but uh, what we want to do, of course, is take a look at the candidates as they're coming across the state of Iowa, and hopefully you've had the opportunity to meet many of them. Uh, they are going to be out pounding the ground, and hopefully you can shake their hand and ask them questions about their policies and where they stand on the issues. These are going to be really important to us as we move into the caucuses next week. So I'm pretty sure that many of you are, are going to have that opportunity. But uh, today, you know, I have said I'm not going to endorse in this race, and that is a promise that I am going to keep to Iowa, so I am not endorsing. But I do want to introduce and welcome as many folks to the state of Iowa as possible. Now, I am going to introduce uh, someone that is very near and dear to my heart and a good friend to me, and that is Senator Marco Rubio. So we have worked together uh, on some issues. You know that, many of you know that, as Jack said, uh, before I became a senator, I was a mother, I was a soldier, and a conservative. And I'm very proud of that. So when I talk about wanting to keep our nation safe and secure, I take that to heart because those boots that are on the ground fighting for our values, those are the boots that I wore. Those are the boots that so many Iowans have worn. And those are the boots that Marco Rubio understands. He knows what it is to keep our country safe from the threats that are out there. And so you know, as well as I do, that this world is a very dangerous place, a very dangerous place. And we need someone that will show complete honesty about the threats to our nation and our security. And right now, we have a president whose wayward policies in the Middle East have led to quite a quagmire. So I'm placing the blame on our president. And anyone that has served in his administration, you know who I'm talking about. Anyone that has served in his administration that has led to this quagmire and has threatened our national security. What we're doing right now, folks, in the Middle East is not working. It's not working. We see ISIS that is expanding and growing across the Middle East. I want a president, someone who will address these issues, someone who will not just contain ISIS or degrade ISIS. I want someone who will destroy ISIS. We don't need a president who's going to contain ISIS or degrade ISIS because that's what this president says he's trying to do. And we know that folks on the left are going to continue these same policies. We don't need to degrade it, contain it. We need to destroy ISIS. I'm looking for a president that will do that. of my time in the Senate, I've had the opportunity to work with Senator Marco Rubio on national security. And we have had that opportunity to discuss the threats to America. And he does understand those threats very well. And I know that he has con the confidence necessary in a leader to contain or destroy ISIS. I've watched him fight that fight. Beyond our national security, he is a father, just as I am a mother. And I know that he wants to work hard to make sure that that American dream is alive for our children. So through our national security, through our economy, he wants to make sure that we have an America that we are going to be proud of. I've seen him fight that for his children, 
for my children and for your children as well. So thank you all for being here today. I appreciate your consideration. And of course, I want you to give a great, very warm, heartfelt welcome to Senator Marco Rubio. Bye.